We watched AEW Dynamite Grand Slam Night 1, September 21st, 2022. It opens with a, actually a bunch of big matches, but it opens with a huge match. Chris Jericho versus Claudio Castagnoli for the Ring of Honor World Heavyweight Championship. And Jericho did obey the code of honor and shook this man's hand, but also slapped him in the face at the same time. So Claudio's beating his ass for a while. Kerry Silken is there, noted Ring of Honor executive. And Jericho actually hid behind him at one point and uh, used, it, used him as a shield to cheap shot Claudio, then manhandled this Kerry Silken fella. You go to commercial. This Kerry Silken didn't look happy being manhandled. I don't think I was... Not a, not a but part. I'm sh- I mean, it's not like he was sh- getting shot on. No. But man, he yelled at Jericho something. Then he just stands up and wanders off. Yeah. <laughs> like, he didn't even sell it, buddy. So we have a uh, lot of submissions exchanged in the second half, a lot of sharpshooters, a lot of uh, 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 walls of Jericho, a big Ricola bomb. Is it just me, or has Chris Jericho been using the code breaker more often than he used to lately? Well, he uses it when he needs it. Seems like he's kind of broken it out a lot in the past month or so after it was on the shelf for a bit. But uh, he hooks the walls of Jericho, but Claudio rolls that over, turns it into the Blackpool Combat Club, stomps to the head, hits the big giant swing. Jericho goes to the baseball bat, swings it at Claudio, and Claudio blocks it, so that's not a disqualification. Even though, if you think about it, Jericho didn't hit this guy with a bat, he just hit him in the hands. Regardless... He still wielded a bat. In the ring. Yeah. And, uh, I mean, technically, by the letter of the law, he didn't hit Claudio. Claudio blocked it. I guess. But still, I don't know about the... Uh, I understood why they did it, because it played into the finish, which was, as the ref is getting rid of the bat, uh, he hit the low blow yes. in a ring of honor match, showing he had no honor, Yes. which led to the finish, but... I would have preferred a spot that did not involve actually swinging the bat and the guy blocking it and making contact with the bat. Yes, that was a little too much, a little too much. But uh, regardless, he uh, Claudio blocks it. He gives the bat to the ref. The ref is disposing the bat, which lets Jericho hit a low blow and the Judas effect and gets the win to a massive ovation. This crowd was very happy to see Chris Jericho win this Ring of Honor World title, but you know who was not? Is Ian Riccoboni. A cloud of dishonor has enveloped the Ring of Honor Championship. I'm flummoxed. Has this guy never watched Ring of Honor? This is not the first time. Christ, cheating. I know that's what you're supposed to do, but you have heels in Ring of Honor, you know. It has happened before. There have been cheaters before. So the Jericho Appreciation Society comes out. They have a huge party. This is a big deal winning this eighth world championship for Chris Jericho. He's holding that belt up. You've never seen him so happy. And Daniel Garcia is out there, the Ring of Honor pure champion, who, of course, is torn between Jericho and uh, Danielson lately. And he's out there, but you get the sense he's out there uh, because he's obliged to. He's a professional obligation as a member of the JAS. He's not terribly thrilled about this entire development. But it was all quite great. A very fun match. I thought this match was great. It was the highest rated thing on the show. Although it was not one of those uh, opening segments where it's a bunch of folks that are watching the last show and then uh, and then turn off uh, this show shortly thereafter. Uh, this did about 1.05 million viewers, 1.07 million, somewhere around there. And, uh, and it stayed steady the entire show. Uh, the only dip was the Orange Cassidy match, actually. It had only dipped a little bit. But uh, everything else was right around 1.04 million, which I think was the, the actual number. So uh, everyone's talking about the rating. Obviously, the rating is somewhat of a disappointment because they did better last week and this was a stadium show in front of an incredible crowd with five championship matches including a match for the vacant AEW title and uh so 1.04 1.05 million i mean it's it's somewhat disappointing but it was number 1 on cable the audience was steady throughout the entire show so essentially what happened is there was a lot of competition there were a lot of uh season premieres Obviously, AEW is often affected by the news, and uh, there was a lot going on in the news. And uh, the people that watched the show, they tuned into the beginning, and they very much enjoyed the show because they literally watched the entire show from start to finish. And the audience live loved this match more than any other match on the show in the sense that uh, they were going nuts to sing Judas, and they kept that intensity throughout the entire match. And uh, it was the match with the most heat of anything on the show. It was an excellent match. Jericho was great. Claudio was great. 
Uh, aside from the bat actually making contact with Claudio, the finish was great because it played into the storyline of Jericho being a disrespectful uh, challenger in a Ring of Honor championship match, which also plays into the Daniel Garcia deal where he's told Jericho, you don't need to cheat. And Jericho keeps fucking cheating. So I thought the whole thing from start to finish was a big win. Big win, that's for sure. We have a John Moxley, Brian Danielson video package where Danielson notes there's four men who have beaten him in AEW. Hangman Page, John Moxley, Daniel Garcia, and Chris Jericho. Three of those men he has also beaten. So the only person in AEW who has beaten him and he has not beaten them back is, in fact, John Moxley. Google Tiger Jackson wrestler and then go into images and then go into GIFs. <laughs> he does all these spots where he spins on his head. I'm crying. And I'm supposed to be watching this stupid show, but I just keep watching Tiger Jackson spots on Google. I hereby induct him into the Matt Cleary Hall of Awesome. All in favor, say aye. Aye. Thank you, Craig. That's two to that's two to zero or whatever. Aye. Okay. If you enjoy these videos for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.